Hello and welcome back to another episode of uh, Banishers, the um, New Eden Ghost. We are continuing our little escapade, episode 4, where we're going uh, for the quest Hungry the Hunters, which we need to do in order to find uh, essence for Athea or Anthea. So let's get going. We are ready to rumble. Hey, more fun. Try another one. You're on your own here, Red. Okay, well, enemies are starting to become a bit tougher. Eyes peeled. Let's see if we can banish uh, the ghost here. There we go. Nicely hit, and as long as we are with her, she basically cannot die or take damage, which is a huge advantage. All right, I'm getting the hang of things. Good. Very solid. Fantastic. Well, with her at his side, I could effectively switch to her whenever uh, we are about to get hit. Because she can take the damage, uh, but he cannot. She will regenerate, he will not. There's someone inside. Someone tainted. Mm -hmm. For we're finding that tainted person. Let's just double check our map here. So we jump down here and right in front of us is that tainted person. Before we move on. Let's check out this area. Okay. Ben, you're back. Beg pardon. I thought you were someone else. You hungry, friend? The stew is thin enough, but I'd be glad to share. Kind of you to offer, lad. But no, thank you. 
been a while since I've seen another human's face. You come from camp? You a hunter? Of sorts. Red McCreeth. I'm a banisher. Like in the stories. Jacob Lind. I'm a trapper. <laughs> That's a real job. Who's Ben? Who's Ben? Another trapper. Hi, the best of them. Taught me all I know. He's out now, but he'll be back. Where has he gone? The bridge is down. As down as down can be. Can't cross. Bad things lurk in the shadows. They sent flesh. Game's low. Game's low and Ben's gone. He'll find game, he will. I know it. Where did you meet Ben? We found each other. Brothers in spirit, he said. He's been good to me. Too good. Why? He's important to you. I? And me to him. What lurks in the shadows? Is that what keeps you here? That... and the fog. Can't hunt if you can't see. Ben shoots better than me. Knows the woods better too. I'd only slow him. Only slow him. He's lost his nerve. Or a ghost has taken it from him. What are you doing here? Had you nowhere safer? The woods are kind to them as knows them. We hunt here. When we get pelts and meat, we trade in New Eden. But game's been scarce. We've not to trade, so we wait. When even the wolves are starving, you know it's going to be a bad winter. How long have you been out here alone? I don't know. I lose track. And I'm not alone. God is with me in the scriptures. Would you like me to read to you? Another time, perhaps. Get some rest, Jacob. You need it. Ben if sounds you see like ben, a ghost. Tell him I'm thinking of him. Tall lad. Even when he's lying down. Can't miss him. Poor child. He's shrouded in spectral stains. You've started your first haunting case and must investigate the ghost that haunts Jacob Lind. Use the notification shortcut to open your haunting case menu and follow. Jacob Lind's friend Benedict uh, Storton brings him food. But we don't find much more of it yet. Oh, look at you. Lots of cases to solve. Do you sleep here, Jacob? Ben sleeps here. I don't sleep. There are maggots in the bed. Do you sleep here, Jacob? Ben sleeps here. I don't sleep. There are maggots in the bed. Your meat's turning, friend. Food is scarce. We might do. Whatever haunts the boy spawns maggots. We should talk to this Ben fellow. Alright, I assume we're going to get the reward afterwards. And there are his blessings. Are these Ben's things? Most of them. Not the rope. You can have it if you want. Kind of you. Thank you. Sturdy rope is mainly used to descend safely from dangerous cliffs. Okay. That will give us an option to descend when needed. Ben went out without a gun. 
We're trappers, not hunters. We had the gun for safety, but it got damp. Done work. Okay. I like a gun. Because all we have is a sword. And if guns are any good, we might be able to use them. So we are here. And we just need to investigate this region. We came from down here, entrance. Moved up here, found out the bridge wasn't working and then kind of circled down around here. Good, let's He's give so it a go. confused. I doubt he knows what year it is. What happened to him? Maybe it was abandoned. Maybe his mate abandoned him. Hmm. That chest looks good. But it also looks like this is going to be dangerous territory. Which stone told you it's going to be dangerous territory? I'm right here, you know. I think we've hit a nerve. Good, we got witch stone. I don't yet know what it's used for, but it looks cool. Quick mist. Spun by a ghost after a violent death. Anisha row number eight. Don't get lost in quick mist, lest the spectres get you. Wise, but I see no other way. Either Ben was lost in the mist, or he's the source of it. Hmm. How about this here? Only a little bit of leather and that's it. Uh, that's unfortunate. You might be able to drop down from here. This looks like a terrible, terrible oh, idea. Do love a drop into the deep unknown. Can't see further than the end of my arm down there. Don't worry, it'll affect your other senses too. Now, oh, how wonderful! Well, time to descend. Let's go. Oh, this quick mist is thicker than a Scots dragoon. It smells almost as bad. We keep at the edge. I could show you the way. Wait. That's, that's better. And a little terrifying. Is it just oh. me or...? I felt it too. Good. Can't go in there. Not yet. See that? It looks like the fog is coming from those odd looking stalagmites. Hold on. I think I can rid us of the quick mist. How? Oh. Well, I'm partly made of the same stuff. Alright, 
unfortunately need to go back into normal form. Careful. They mean business now. Die, you bastard! Sorry, I didn't know that would happen. You got away with it. Let's find what caused it. You mean, let's find out who died. Go down to two traces of a struggle. healing potions. An echo hangs on it. Oh, yeah. Imaradas en tus. This is I can't. I can't do it no more. On your feet, Lind. We don't no. give up. I've had enough. There's no way up. There's no way down. For days we've eaten nothing but boiled shoe leather. I'm done. We don't give up. <sighs> Leave me be. God be damned, I'm sick of carrying you. What are you doing? Don't hurt me. <sighs> oh, I hate you. I hate you! Yeah! Uh oh. Ben died in the fall. And now his maggoty ghost is back to haunt the friend who pushed him. So was Jacob lying to hide the murder? He wouldn't be the first. We need to find the body, if the wolves haven't gotten there first. But it all begins to make a little bit more sense. We are taking as much of the resources as we can. There is a wisp over there. I wonder if these things become more important later. At the moment, it seems like we cannot really get there. Well, we could, but only with her, right? Good, and I'm still wondering what we're using all of those resources for. We certainly have enough ritual resources uh, to create a lot of rituals. And we're down here. Let's find the corpse. Something's concealed. There we go. Oh, a shite on a short stick. Bloody hell. The lad's been torn to pieces. No, wait. He's been carved with a knife. For his meat. Still no tie. 
A Jacob's Hovel, perhaps? Okay, we know where the meat is coming from. Jacob was eating meat. Jacob was eating Ben. Was he really hungry enough to eat his friend? Maybe the nightmare had something to do with it. Find what binds uh, the ghost. So, Jacob is clear, Benedict isn't clear yet. The trappers. This is a pretty grim hollow. Medieval view. I like the story, but it is quite dark. Good. I guess back to his good friend Jacob. A couple of questions. What is luck in here? Time to work, Banisher. All right, something is in that cave. I knew it. Did you feel that? It's close. Nothing further of value. I like it how the game more of them. gives you indications. Like, for instance, when we were standing here, it gave us the hint that there is something behind the waterfall. Let's get back up. Alpha Ghoul. These are the guys. Yep, that spring right onto you. difficult I like uh, how the game starts pacing the enemies to become slightly more difficult Move yourself OK, 
Okay, this is going to be close. Did we miss a few? Don't let that specter get to the corpse. Call on me. Whew, closer than expected. All right, we're definitely low on resources. Let's sincerely hope that we're not going to need to fight another big fight. Let's look for our tie while Jacob's outside. Poor lad. His food is the meat of the matter. I tell you, that's horrible. Never heard a worse pun. I like it. Headridden wooden bowl and spoon used by Jacob Lind. Oh boy. I think I found our tie. How did I not notice it before? There were so many spectral stains, it's a wonder we found it at all. Come on, let's talk to Ben. Oh, there to you, Jacob. Mr. McCraith, sir? You were struggling yourself and Ben. Why'd you not leave? Leave? No, can't leave. This here is home. We trap here, we eat here, we tan pelt to leather here. Our lives are here. Can't leave. Did you not try the river? The fog had to lift some time, and if you stay, you'll starve. We have enough. Thanks to Ben. Ben wanted to leave. You argued. Remember? Ben's out and about right now. We don't argue, you know. One time, a storm caught us napping. Sidelong hailstones and everything. We was lost. But we found our way. Even then, Ben never said a word in anger. Even though I slowed him down. Has he lost his mind? Or is he tricking with us? I can't tell. You're exhausted. Unsurprising given how tainted are these woods. Are you sleeping? I don't like sleeping. I see things. Bright eyes in the leaves. What does tainted mean? Marked by ghosts. Haunted. Tell me of your nightmares. One nightmare. Always the same one. Ben has it too. Would you care to share them? No! No! Tis a nightmare. Nothing more. Farewell to you, Mr. Lind. Farewell, Mr. McCray, sir. Farewell. Uh oh Make it manifest. Let's go. Call for the ghost. You're not Jacob. Who's you? 
My name is Red McCraith. The Scot. You? Antea Duarte. We're banishers. We can help you. <laughs> I'm beyond help. Where's Jacob? What uh, keeps you here? We know what befell you, Benedict. What keeps you here? He does. He waits and waits and waits on me. He'll not face what he has done, and I cannot go. I cannot go. But I'll not hate him. How could I? We thought him lost in mind and reason. Who'd not lose their mind? Stuck in place for weeks on end, deprived of a living, deprived of a life. Though I denied it, I saw it coming. I became... wary. Some part of me knew what he was thinking, because I was thinking it too. What do you want from Jacob? What do you want from Jacob? Do you seek revenge? I seek no vengeance. He is I, and I am him. Why not confront him? Why do you not confront him? Why not show yourself? I did. He thought me alive. He showed me stake he'd scavenged. He was so proud. He offered me a share. He needs to face the truth. To accept what he has done to both of us. At night, he'd read scripture. God would mind us if we were good and honest. Jacob taught me that. We were good. We lived honest lives. We kept to ourselves, minded our business, and no one else's. So tell me, Banisher, what did we do to deserve this? This was not God's doing. Another powerful entity is at work here. New Eden is cursed. Then God has forsaken us, and we are doomed. You tried many times to leave this place. I tried and failed. Week on week, month on month, maybe. We went in circles. The woods are tricky, sir. Treacherous. Mean. Round and round we went. Round and round and back again. Jacob said you both had nightmares. The same nightmare. Aye. And yet we got no sleep. Couldn't tell truth from fantasy. The shadows seemed to flicker at the corners of our eyes. How long have you and Jacob been out here in the woods? Some winters now, but this one, it never ends. No way out, no way in. We were alone, not an animal in sight. I don't know when things changed, we got stuck. <laughs> These godforsaken woods. Hard story. Thank you, Benedict. Perhaps we'll talk again. Perhaps we shall, Banisher. Perhaps we shall. All right, we know what was happening. Jacob must confess. I fear the truth will break him. Let's see what Jacob has to say. Oh, there to you, Jacob. Mr. McCraith, sir? I'm sorry, Jacob, we must talk. Something has happened to Benedict. What? Where is he? What happened? Come on now, Jacob. If something's happened to Ben, say so. Where is he?
Day after day, you woke hungry from your nightmares. You tried to escape and failed many times until you broke. You killed your friend, Jacob. What? No. No, that's not what happened. Leave me be. Aye. That's what you said to Benedict before you pushed him off the cliff. But that's not all, is it? You killed Benedict, then you ate him. You were starving to death, yes, but you made your choice. You're not real. You're not real. You're a monster. Benedict lingers. End his suffering. Face the truth. I failed him. I failed Benedict. I was so angry, so angry. He kept pushing me. We kept, we argued, and I couldn't think. When I saw him lying there on the ground, lifeless, the whisper said, it was him or me, him or me. I would have died. I should have died. For my sins, I deserve no better. I failed God. I failed my friend. I'm a monster. I deserve no mercy. No. You're just a sinner, begging for help. We both faced a choice, simple and awful, to kill or to die. You struck first, and here we are. Do you forgive me? Our fates are in the hands of others now. Yes. Banisher, do your job. If you're to come back, if we're to use the ritual we spoke of, this is when it starts. Red, if we take one step along that path... Jacob is ready to die. The others won't be. We'll tell lies. We'll harvest the essence of the living. I'll shoulder the blame. As the man says, we face a choice, simple and awful. Do we kill? To be together again? Or do we part forever? We must decide now. All right, Closure, you have reached the closure of the haunting case. As a banisher, you must decide blame the haunted inhabitant, ascend the ghost, or banish uh, the ghost. Each choice will have consequences specifically on Red and Antia and their involvement as a couple. Remember, if Red wishes to bring Antia back, he must blame the largest number of living settlers. All right, that's what we're going to do in this playthrough. This decision will contribute to Antia's uh, resurrection. Jacob Lind, you believe you merit no mercy, but your suffering must have an ending. You murdered your friend, the man you called your brother. You fed on him. Then you denied your part in his ending, and bound his spirit to this realm. You can never right this wrong. But the truth and your death will ease his suffering. There can be no 
half measures here. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Benedict, my friend, forgive me. I took the life of a man I loved and ate his flesh. This I deserve. Ooh. It's done. You may feed on his essence. And I think I need a moment. You can rest inside. Impactful. No more maggots. Ben is gone for good. Yeah, well, we're going to be self uh, selfish in this playthrough. Poor lad. His food is the meat of the matter. I tell you, that's horrible. Never heard a worse pun. I like it. All right. So, what are we going to do? So we got the unveil level up, where we got more damage, a lot of light attack hits that are improving over time. And now we got even more stuff. The leap attack. Okay, apparently the leap attack is only available after the consumption of a soul. So maybe uh, your kind of playthrough will also influence the abilities that you do have available. So banishing leap increases damage by 500%. Each enemy hit by a punch attack increases the damage of punch attacks by 7%. Cumulative, that's not bad. Perfect switch. Right mo uh, moment triggers a punch attack, okay. Charge heavy attacks deal more damage. Parrying restores spirit points. Defeating an enemy with a heavy attack reduces damage taken by 90%. Hmm. All right. The force heavy attack triggers a punch that ignores resistance. Damage dealt by readers increased by 30% against full health enemies. Okay. Defeating an enemy with a punch attack refills banishment. Lots of good uh, things. I like the idea of 90% damage reduction. That seems good to me. Uh, we do have a couple of other things. Fourth attack triggers another punch. That's just straight up extra damage. Tag team. Banishing an enemy increases the damage of the next heavy attack by 200%. So that in itself seems good. I think we need those damage uh, stacks. This here actually seems quite good. Parrying for spirit is great, but I'm not parrying very often, so that might be a mistake. Hmm, Banishing Leap isn't bad either, but I think those Rested Spirit attacks are good. Banish uh, points gains are increased by 15%. 
uh, but it reduces decoction charges. That's not great. Switch to Antia right after the third attack to trigger a punch. Ignores resistance, knocks down the target. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I like this here, but I don't like uh, the decoction reduction. That is not great. Charge heavy attack damage is increased. That seems decent. Defeating an enemy with a heavy attack. This here looks like almost the best that we can do. Hmm. Spirit point increased by parrying. I might just need to parry him more often. Cool. So before we're uh, resting, let's upgrade what can be upgraded. Definitely the weapons. Ten percent more increase. And the Scourge Accretion uh, is what we need. Elsewise, we do have enough. It's just not we're missing one component. We got definitely enough uh, leather, but we don't have Scourge accretion and we need enough for this upgrade. We need it for this upgrade. So if we can get more Scourge accretion, that would be great. And translucent fiber for whatever that's worth. Force light attack triggers a punch. I like that attack as well, the tech team one. But maybe I should go for those heavier swings. Refund doesn't seem to cost anything. Banish points gains are increased by 20%, but the damage is reduced. And that might not be too bad because quicker banish means we can interrupt uh, enemies more often. But I also like that tech team. Oh, you need to choose one. You can't go for both. I see. Yeah, we are definitely going decoction charges plus one. And quicker banish. Let's just go with that for now. And rest. Which also brings us to the natural end of today's episode. It was an interesting journey. I hope you liked um, Banisher's Ghost of Eden so far. I certainly did. It's definitely a very story and narrative uh, driven game. A bit like The Witcher minus the world building elements. So it's really just focused on the case. And then once you have figured out the case, it's time to uh, solve it. Let's see how the decision making influences the further storyline. So far, it seems to be quite linear you want to always go in one direction uh, but we're going to figure out how it uh, is going to continue thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed what you've seen try to ex uh, communicate that like button and uh, make sure that uh, it is not possessed a good one see you next time bye bye